What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. Now, I'm usually not one to make videos on specific mods, but this one really caught my eye. While I was browsing YouTube, I came across this video over here, where a player of the game actually added splashes and other water effects to Minecraft that really add a ton to the experience. Droplets, splashes, etc, etc. It's a really cool atmospheric mod that I wouldn't be surprised comes included with Minecraft at some stage. But unlike other Minecraft showcase or joke videos, with a mod and specific things, this is a mod that you can actually download and play with on any vanilla server, modded server, etc, etc. This is in fact a client side fabric and forge mod that you can download right now and play on practically any server. You can add it to almost any forge mod pack and almost any fabric mod pack or just your fabric client that you're slowly modding. If you don't already have fabric installed, which is what I'll be showing you in this video here, those steps for the forge version are basically exactly the same. Check the description down below to learn how to install Minecraft Fabric. It's super simple and allows you to mod your vanilla version of Minecraft while still playing on all of your favorite servers. It's super simple and easy to follow once again in the description down below. You'll also find a link to CurseForge for Effective. This is the splash mod over here that adds a ton of visual changes to Minecraft. I really like it. This is the Fabric version and you'll find a link here on the page to the Forge version, which is the same link, just has hyphen Forge at the very end. You install it the same way by dropping it into the mods folder. It's super simple. All you have to do is head across to the page that you like, whether it's Forge or Fabric, and click the download button next to the version of Minecraft you're currently running. In this case, it's 1.18 and above. If you don't see it, head across to the Files tab at the very top and choose Download from one of the versions here. I'll choose the latest and download here. While the mod is downloading, I'll hold start and press R to bring up this box over here where I can type percentage app data percentage, hit enter and a new file browser will open that I can navigate into dot Minecraft. If you don't see that folder, click at the very top where you see view and make sure hidden items is ticked. On Windows 11, the steps are a little bit different for that. Anyways, when you're in your .minecraft folder, as long as you have fabric installed or forge, you should have a mods folder. If you don't, create a new folder and simply call it mods, M-O-D-S or lowercase. Open it up and drag the mod that we just downloaded into the folder here and we've now successfully installed it. It's as simple as that. Simply opening up the Minecraft launcher, then selecting fabric and play. And nothing looks too different. I can head into any single player or multiplayer world or server. Now the simplest way of seeing this is by creating yourself an amplified world. To do this, I'll head into more world options and change the world type from default all the way up to amplified and create world here. Without spending too much time flying around, you should already see waterfalls forming and traveling down to other water. And as you can see, and likely here, there's a lot of noise from the waterfalls here. The more you move around them, the more you hear, etc. You can see cascades, nice little water droplets that come off of water, and it just makes the game look a ton prettier. Of course, this won't cause too much of an FPS hit, but it may cause some. Not only will you have waterfalls, but of course you'll have the same effect around lava, or at least rather lava splashes. I'll show you that in just a moment. If I simply grab myself an item and throw it into the water, you'll see a nice little splash effect wherever it lands, assuming there's enough height. Pretty. Of course, you'll also see this with animals and things alike. It's a really neat effect. If we simply head across to the nether, you'll see very similar effects here when items enter lava, as well as mobs. Nice and pretty. Now, of course, the effect can be a bit much sometimes for specific things going on. But other than that, it is a really nice effect to have in the game. It's just one of the many mods that you can add to your arsenal to make the game look just a bit better. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick crash course guide. Once again, fabric and forge client installation guides are found in the description down below if you'd like to follow along with them and join in. But anyways, that's really about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao.